Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go find an ODBC driver for Progress SQL, download it, and install it. So you want to install an ODBC driver for Progress SQL? Let's follow these steps. I came in here to my create a new data source and noticed that I did not have an ODBC driver. So that means I had to do some steps. So I went out to devarp.com and then they had an ODBC driver for Progress SQL 4.1. And I took the MSI version of this and I clicked the download button. And then I downloaded it to my local computer. There it is right there. And then something important, it's only a 30 day free trial. So it costs like 241 bucks when I uh, checked. And then I clicked on the program to install it and uh, Windows said, hey, don't know this app. And I said, I do though. And then I uh, clicked the next button. And then you should probably read this and then hit this checkbox and then that will activate the next button. Press the next and make sure this is where you want your files to go and hit next. And this is just like some more, hey, pick the stuff that you want. I kind of want it all, so hit next. And you are now knowing that this is only a trial license. Hit next. All right, this is your last chance to get out of this install. Now, make sure this is not a production computer. You don't want to bring it down by installing new software. So install it on a piece of junk, you know, something that you can test real hard or a real good computer, but it's yours. Don't be putting software that you're not sure how it's going to behave on a production computer. This is a bad thing to do. So figure out that you can do it or can't do it. And then uh, for those of you can, let's proceed. So uh, this little thing pops up and then I hit finish and we're done. Let's recap. You have Progress SQL on your computer. You needed an ODBC driver. You went to the internet, you downloaded it, you installed it. Now we're actually going to make a driver for us to use it in our system. So come down to the bottom and you see the little window and that little box type in control panel. And when control panel comes up, click on control panel. And notice it'll look something like this. And the goal is I want you to get to this path right here. Now what I had to do, because I had a hard time finding it in here, I typed this into a notepad and I said control space panel slash system space and space security slash administrative space tools. And then I just pasted it in, in here. You might be able to find it. I couldn't find it, but this, that's where you have to go. Uh, I'm not sure why it was so hard. And here you can see I'm there and I've identified my two ODBC data sources, a 32 bit and a 64 on my computer. I'll be installing the 64 bit. You need to determine what you're going to install based on your computer hardware. And here we can see that I have one, I clicked this, this window here popped open and then I selected the add button. And when the add button appeared, this button appeared and I clicked on the ODBC driver that we just downloaded. And then I hit the finish button. And then when I hit finish, then this popped open and now I'm going to actually put in all my information that I need. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you what I typed in, but you need to know your username, password, and uh, the port. Now I'll kind of like give you the batting order for that to do it. This is like standard. Uh, this might not be yours. I believe this is the default username. And once you think you have it, you can hit test connection. And if you're successful, you'll get this message. But if you've made an error, just come up here and fix it and just keep trying this until you get it. Uh, it'd be pretty easy. And once you say okay to that, then you'll notice that you have an ODBC, like on my computer, I have a 64 bit progress SQL version of an ODBC driver. And that's it. Now our other apps are going to be able to use this device driver. 
to connect to this database. Congratulations, teams. We did it. Thanks for hanging in there, team. We did it. Now we're going to be writing our first C program that can tap into this database because of this device driver. You might want to come back and see that video when I create it. Now it's a good time to leave a comment, thumbs up, and if you'd like to keep following me, I create a lot of videos. Subscribe. See you in the next video.